Welcome to On Point, the only real and inscripted talk show that educates, motivates, and inspires. Featuring interesting topics on health, finances, real estate, education, technology, politics, legal issues, and more. Hey, good morning everyone. It's me, your boy, Delhi. How are you guys doing? Happy Friday to everyone. Um, I wanted to come here this morning because um, there has been news that broke this morning about Anthony Bourdain committing suicide. Um, this is the second such um occurrence of suicide that we're hearing about this week from a celebrity however I cannot help but to think how many people commit suicide on quite possibly a daily basis not only in this country but around the world um, we're in an age where people are experiencing different levels of stress, various levels of stress, whether that's financial stress, uh, personal, psychological, emotional, and I can go on and on. Um, while Why this is so important for me to discuss is because I myself had gone through years, I mean many, many years, of depression and even thoughts of suicide and um, to hear that these people committed suicide this week um, Kate Spade I personally never heard of her before this incident however she apparently was a famous um, designer or something like that However, Anthony Bourdain, I am very much familiar with because I used to watch his programming on CNN. And in fact, his, uh, the debut of his new show was scheduled to begin in a matter of weeks. And he was in um, France um, filming episodes of his new uh, series on CNN. Um, currently, I have a very close friend of mine who is going through bouts of depression and um, normally this is a very um, upbeat and exciting individual. We talk just about every day, but whenever we do not talk or whenever the communication ceases, I know exactly what he is experiencing. Um, depression causes you to isolate yourself from people. You don't want anybody around you. You don't even want to hear anyone's voice. And so it's easy for you to uh, cave in on yourself when you're experiencing depression because the fact that you do not want anyone around you means that you are capable of doing just about anything to harm your to harm yourself. Um, It's, it's very difficult to talk about because people, unless you've been in, in, in um, someone's shoes who, who have experienced, who, are, who, are, who is experiencing depression, you will never quite understand. Um, it makes you feel helpless and hopeless. Um, it's... it's debilitating uh, you don't want to eat you don't want to sleep you can't sleep um, 
some people can't sleep. Let me correct that because there are people who um, who handle it by sleeping their way through it. And we sit around and we think these people are lazy or they have no ambition. Um, but what we don't seem to realize is that this depression take, takes full control of your entire being when you're going through it to the point where it's crippling. Um, so... A lot of you out there know people who may be experiencing depression or even you yourself may be experiencing some level of depression. Once you get to that place, you have to try very, very hard to reach out to someone. There has to be someone in whom you can confide and share, you know, because depression don't just happen out of the blue. Something that you've experienced that you've experienced in your life um, triggered this mode of depression um, it could be something that happens in your childhood it could be something that happens later in your life it doesn't matter any negative form of um, experience that you may have um, uh, gone through can trigger depression and for some people, it lasts for days and weeks. For others, they get into that maybe a day, a week, or, you know, every other day. Um, my friend currently, it's like this happens to him at least once a week. I don't hear from him in like two days. And no matter how much I text and I call, my call goes unanswered, and when that happens, I know exactly what is happening. And I choose to come here today and to talk about it because after hearing Anthony Bourdain taking his own life, I mean, it seems as if this guy's um, show is doing well. In fact, his show is doing well. The ratings are high. Um, this is a guy who traveled the world shedding light on um, people's culture, their foods and stuff like that. And um, to hear this news that he has taken his own life is quite devastating to me. Um, so we, we, need to look, we, need to, we need to be able to, um, to detect signs of depressions, especially in... Uh, among our friends and loved ones. Um, one of the signs of depression is that there is prolonged period or periods of um, enduring sadness where, you know, I mean, we all go through life and we all face emotional highs and lows, but a person who is depressed, their highs and lows... <laughs> elevate to a, a totally not another level and unless you know what to look for you you may miss it you know a lot of people don't tell you that they're going through problems and rightfully so because a lot of people don't trust anyone to 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 discuss their personal lives with them i know i didn't trust anyone you know, and even though I have close friends and stuff like that, um, sometimes you feel that you don't want to burden people down with your with your own problems, and so you you keep it to yourself. Is that the right thing? Uh, is that the right approach? No, it's not. But unfortunately, it it, it is what it is. But um, you have to learn to. Um, detect what's happening in the lives of people you you know love and trust and um depress the de depressed individual feel a sense of utter hopelessness and defeat as if life is completely meaningless been there i know what that feels like um in my case i was determined not to become a statistic one night I walked out into traffic 
It's like I totally lost my mind. I w wasn't even aware that I was into traffic until someone got out their car and literally pulled me out the street because I was stoned. I'm not a drinker or anything like that. But that night, I just wanted to end it all. You see? Um, once I came to the realization of what I did or what could have possibly happened to me during that bout of severe depression and junk drunkenness, I decided in my own mind that I did not want to go out like that. So I had to take control of my life and of my situation. So what I did, I delved myself deep into the God-given skills and abilities that was inside of me. I created an award show. I start making music. I was helping people here and there. I was going to the Kessler Rehabilitation Institute in uh, East Orange, New Jersey, and I started singing for elderly people. You see, I was feeding people on the streets in Newark by the post office. You know, I had to do stuff, get involved in stuff that was going to take my mind off my own problems. Did it work all the time? No, it did not. But at least I know that I was seeking a level of purpose for my life instead of trying to, to, to destroy my own life. So a, different, a, a, a depressed person will definitely experience extended length of um, uh, sadness. Uh, also a self-loathing attitude where many depressed individuals direct their misery inwards, blaming their own selves for everything that happened to them. I was one of those people. Um, so it is important that you talk to your friends, your neighbors, people around you that sometimes show signs that something is happening, but they try to show a, uh, a, a happy side in spite of how they're feeling inside. Uh, I, I can't even I can't even find the words to properly um, verbalize what I'm trying to say. But the point I'm trying to make is this: We all know somebody who is experiencing depression. Every last one of us, whether or not we realize it, we all know someone who is going through depression. And. Um, and and you know what this this uh this this uh level of gossip and drama that a lot of us entertain and engage in our lives can also drive people to depression also cuz we gossip about people and we tear them down we never have anything good to say about anyone um i'm not saying that this is true in all instances but in part, for those of you who are out there who um, engage in a lot of gossiping and stuff like that, channel that energy into um, uplifting someone. Channel that energy into showing love and kindness. You see? Because at the end of the day, we all have something in our lives, in our lives that we are dealing with. And for you to compound those things with more negativities doesn't help the situation. It really doesn't help the situation. So we need to learn to love more. Identify when your brother or your sister is going through something, when they need to hear a word of kindness. And... Um, Speak that word or those words of kindness into that person's life. Um, it bothers me because my dear friend does not let anyone in when he's going through this. I was like that. I was, I was hurting for many, many years 
and no one really realized. There were people who picked up on it, but the, 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 a lot of times people pick up on your pain and your hurt, but they do not know what to say to you. They do not want to come off the wrong way. Uh, one of the worst things you can do when someone confide, into, uh, confide in you about what they may be going through is try to come up with your own story of your own stuff that you're going through. They don't know. They didn't confide in you to hear about your story. They can't confide in you because they want someone to listen to them and to sympathize with them. Sometimes you can do more damage by contributing your own experience. So listen, listen. You don't have to say a word until the appropriate time, okay? Um, what I want to leave with you guys this morning is um, the suicide prevention hotline that you can always Google and find that online. It's 1-800-273-8255. 1-800-273-8255. I don't know if I make a lot of sense this morning because I just think I'm rambling on. But um, my, my, honestly, I'm not thinking clearly right now because... It, this whole suicide, depression thing um, weighs heavily on my heart this morning when I woke up and um, saw it on the news that another celebrity committed suicide. Yes, it's a celebrity and everybody knows their name. What about the people that no one knows their names? You see, those are the people I am more concerned about because... People are hurting, people in your neighborhood, people who your neighbor, people who um, you go to school with, you go to church with, you see? And um, as far as depression and personal pains and problems, unfortunately, a lot of churches aren't equipped to deal with that, you see? We are not fully equipped to deal with those things. And a lot of the people who are giving you advice on how to rid yourself of depression, I feel that unless you have been in my shoes, you cannot fully comprehend, first of all, what I have gone through. And second of all, I don't think you can fully tell me how to rid myself of, 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 of my pain and my hurt. Okay? But... Having said that, it does not hurt to speak to someone about your problems, your depression, your emotions, your feelings, and all of that stuff. It really doesn't hurt. Start with someone that you love, someone you confide in um, on a daily basis. Um, I was crippled in my own um, uh, state of depression. I would uh, curl up in a ball, didn't eat for one or two days, absolutely nothing. So thank God I have passed that stage in my life. I am living in the moment. I'm living in the present. Peace and happiness. Um, my life has turned around dramatically. But what I want to do now is to help those that I know, and even those that I do not know, to, to be able to find the strength to, to um, get help, seek help. You cannot handle that on your own. You have to seek help. The Suicide Prevention Hotline is open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The number again is one 800 273-8255. That's 800-273-8255. If you can't confide in someone that you know and trust, call the hotline. At least you'll be speaking to people that do not know you personally. People who will not gossip about you. And seek some help. Please, I'm urging you out there. Um, a death in the family can, can um, trigger depression. 
someone say the wrong thing to you, that can trigger depression. Um, you're not happy on your job, that can trigger depression. Uh, so many, so many things. So many things. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline, 1-800-273-8255. 800-273-8255. Or you can go online to Suicide, Preven uh, suicide Prevention Lifeline dot org that's suicide prevention lifeline dot org thank you guys for watching um i'm out of here oh jesus this was this was uh, uh i don't know why i decide to do this but i had to do it i had to do it too many people too many people are going through too many stuff and um i don't know man we we you know what we need to we need to talk about these things. We really need to start talking. And um, even if you can talk to people without giving your name, you can talk to people without telling them where you live and stuff like that. You have to be able to open up to someone. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot deal with this. You you just can't deal you can't deal with this on your own. You just can't. I'm sorry, I gotta go. This has been another episode of On Point. We're staying on purpose for our communities. In all that you do, remember to keep it on point.